Hello my lovely Capricorn, how are you loves? I hope everybody's well. Capricorn today will do your daily reading for the 5th and the 6th of March 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for all of you. Single, couple, same sex, straight or even you have somebody in your mind. Even you are divine masculine or feminine. Alright loves? Let's see here what the messages are for today. If you are inclined to see this video by any means, here is a message for you. Let's see here what we have from the Oracle for this daily and what's the energy around you, Capricorn. Take the message suited for you, leave what's not, since it's for Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Capricorn, we have number 51, Milk and Honey. This is my Twin Flame card. For some of you, you are dealing with a Twin Flame and higher power. For some of you, you might be much more in tune with the Divine than usually you've been with. But let's see here. What's the Milk and Honey meaning for you? Number 51... And, yeah, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. In the relationship you are, sensuality, connection and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let, it, let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. I definitely see here there is a good relationship here, emphasizing for you Capricorn. But I feel here you need to be very, very much into that energy. Do I trust the divine? Do I trust that this connection is good? Because you have some suspicions here for you. For some of you, it is a connection ended and you feel like that cannot come over. Or it's hard to get over that. Definitely it is. Cutting off the ties... And many of you might feel like, yes, I cut off the ties. But I always tell every single spiritual being in here. And it's not just like a coincidence that you are here. Cutting ties is not the only thing you need to do. You need to pull the roots from up the ground for you to get over it. And I feel here just cutting a tree... You will see other branches coming out of that tree. You need to pull up the roots for good energy to come towards you. Okay. And yes, it is a it is a situation here. You you need to let it go for your lucky and your good energy to be more fruitful here. Yeah. The next card is the sun. You do have a new beginning and a prosperous new beginning, my loves. But you need to let go something. And it is hard. Many of us know how hard it is to leave something. But I definitely see here there is a good energy surrounding you. But being yourself and understanding that, yes, I need to do so. I need to move forward. That's the way to do. For some of you, have been quite a long time since you are in this energy. For some of you, it might be two, three years in that energy. But it's time for you to let it go. Sometimes, yes, we are curious why that happened, why that person left, why that happened to me. And it is a reason in everything. And sometimes some people give closure, some people don't. And that's how it is, the energy. Okay. Let's see. Capricorns. What's the energy towards you? What's your overall? And what's the spirit want to share with you? Whatever you are going, I definitely see here. Slow 
control, patience, even the things might feel like moving like a snail pace. I see you, you still keeping going. Yes, it is not a hundred miles per hour or per day, might be one mile, but yes, goes forward. So, some of you might be very concerned about your finances, career, or why things are so slow. Just a reminder for all of you, we're still in retrograde. There is some delays, there is some misconnection, disconnections. Keep in mind our loves. Let's see here. Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. My deal here with a Sag at the distance from you or who distanced themselves from you. Also, I see an Aquarius, Piscean energy, Libra or Taurus. It is somebody you've been connected in a third party. Definitely, it is a third party here. For some of you, might be somebody who is committed with somebody else. It's like you're afraid to tell this person that you deeply love them. Somebody here deeply loves the other one, but feels like if I will separate from this person, how that will be? It's like you know you you want this person deep, deep inside because your deep feelings, we have the moon. And this is my timing card, so by the next full moon or new moon, one month, two months, there is some things here will change here. For some of you, the distance from this person and the separation feels like how much, very slow. I totally feel here today there is a big reading for the singles because I definitely see you are single here, career based. For some of you, it's like I'm done feeling alone in something you I don't want anymore. Virgo, Scorpio energy. There is definitely something ends here and there is movement forward. There is a hope for new relationship, yes. But you definitely need to let go some something here. I don't see any conflict or bad conflict. I see here is like a fear to let go of something. But you know anyway that it is over between you and somebody here. You just need to put that burden down. Could be just one-sided relationship here. Although I see here you are wiser now. Yes, you do seek answers. Why in this and why in that? But it's time to free yourself, my loves. And yes, might be confused. I don't know what to choose. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to proceed forward. But I see you still keep going. Still keep going. And there is some decisions here on your part. Okay. So yes, loves. You need to be very clear. What was all this about? Even if it's somebody who give you that vibe like you can conquer the world. And at one point, this energy was very fulfilling. It was very energetic. was very much like, I can do, I can make it, I can do it. And now you're still second guessing. I do want this person. What should I do? Should I stay in the clouds with them? Or should I separate here? Okay? Because it's a tendency. It's like I'm feeling lonely in a connection. I am. And I feel more single than with somebody here. You do see and you still believe in this connection that this can grow. But at the same time, you don't feel it's a give and take of some sort here. Movement will be my loves. But I definitely say here, you need to let go of your fears and be honest with yourself what you truly want. Take time because I feel here you will take time and, and think because I see here is a lot of thinking, a lot of mixed emotions. What do you truly want? What's your deep, deepest desires? What do you truly want to happen to you in the next couple days, couple months as we speak right now? Because I definitely see here in a very short time you will understand what you are doing here. Why is that here? 
Let's see here why this Knight of Wands here. Too many cards. Why this Knight of Wands is here. One more. Yeah, this person makes you happy. This person feels you rejuvenating here. King of Pentacles. Somebody here might feel like this is the one for me because you, you truly want this person. You truly see them as the twin flame. We have here a few twin flames and a few soulmates energies. But you definitely see like a very joyful energy because King of Pentacles, this is you loves. You definitely love this energy to be around here. What's the other energy? Why the moon here? Seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles. There is too much of a resistance here. And I feel here somebody here needs to, to come to their senses. And to try to not be that like this and that, this and that, push and pull, push and pull. For some of you, you definitely want this person and you consider this person the one. You consider them the one. For some of you, you are still in the relationship with this person, but whatever is in here is distancing yourself. What you got to do? For some of you, that's the fear, like, if I will commit, because I feel here is a Capricorn here, who had a commitment before and separated. And if you go to propose, because I definitely see here a proposal of some kind, will that will go to separation or a more thing? Let's see here, why the justice is here. You don't want this person to make a resistance. It's like you want for them to fight for the same things as you do. And you feel with the will of fortune that this is the right person. The universe blessed you. Okay. Yeah, I feel here somebody here really wants to, to, to have a... Um, a long-term relationship but needs a more balanced relationship for some of you you want to move in with this person or this person wants move in here but they want to marry you or they want to commit to you also the money issue here for some of you yes you are still very much dating this person but it could be a distance relationship and the reflection was like you are doing very well financially. How about this person? Could be somebody who had the kids prior you met them. Or you could have kids with this person and you are not yet married. Or committed or bought a home to live in together. Because I feel here there is something around money, around the home, real estate thing here. And if you are still thinking very much of in your mind... It's like, put the facts on the table and go forward with that. Somebody here needs to move. Because to be at the distance, because I definitely see here, could be some distance between you two. Gotta come towards here. There is some changes happening here. But I feel here, clearing up the confusion and move forward can be done. Somebody here needs to be clear what they put on the table and what they offer. It is some fear here around money or around stability or a lot around a give and take. Because somebody here feels like I give more. I give a lot more than the other one. But can be a very good ending? Absolutely. But I feel here also it is a fear of commitment too. Somebody who feels like I got money, I travel, I move forward back and forth. Yes, it is that thing. 
you very much could be connected with a fire sign Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius. For some of you, I do see a Virgo or a Taurus here. Okay. I don't see too much water besides the Scorpio. But yeah. So Capricorn, this is what I got for you for this daily. And I thank you each of you who are joining me here. Blessings to all of you. And of course, we'll see you next time. Namaste.